What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and thank you for tuning in for another fantastic video. Today we're going to be looking at Alibaba or what I call Ali blah blah. Basically we're seeing some very unusual options activity going out all the way into January. They're basically uh, buying a straddle which is basically you buy the call and put at the exact same time. So something to kind of look at that this is basically here uh, via Google where you're buying the call and strike price at the very same, uh, uh, same strike price and at the same expiration month. Um, that being said, Ali Blah Blah has been under a lot of pressure from everything from the Ant IPO failure. Uh, it's been dipping. Uh, Singles Days was strong, which is again like Amazon Prime in China, uh, Prime Day. Um, and then really just the uh, smorgasbord of just, uh, I think, just beat down on the stock. And it's kind of coming to a key level where it could potentially dip higher or lower. Again, you get the news headlines, rare opportunity to get on BA, uh, BA, BA uh, train. Uh, should you buy the dip, all these kind of like the various things that come up. So the particular options that we're looking at here is with the one that was the largest of yesterday, which was again, they're buying the January 15, uh, 2021 uh, options, the 250 call and put for 7,500. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of options there. Um, at a price of 19 for the calls, basically 12 for this. So we can kind of just break this down. We can duplicate this and kind of see on what this is looking at. So it's a little over 20 million. So 14 there, and then we're just doing some rounding errors, and another 14 there. So they're basically, yeah, it's about a 27 to $28 million uh, potential uh, play here. Again, they're risking 28 million and the upside is limitless. So we can look here uh, via thinkorswim. Um, this is the options thing, but we, what I use for trading stock and options is Tastyworks. There's an affiliate link down below if you're interested on switching. They're currently running a special of 100 free shares or 10 call options if you switch over a count of more than 2K. So, and again, the link is in the description. All right, enough with that. So currently what we're looking at here, we're looking at the January 15, 2021 up here. Um, you see here that we bought, uh, or not, not going to buy, but I'm not gonna, I can't afford this uh, initial amount. So the basically the play is 7,500 contracts for the 250 call and put. You can see here we're both buying them and they're both green and indicating a potential larger move to the upside. So basically what this play is uh, is insinuating is they're expecting uh, Ali Blah Blah to substantially go higher or lower. Uh, and this is a very uh, uh, aggressive trade. The reason that they're doing at least uh, 60 days out, which is 58 days as of today, um, again, they're total around $32, uh, so $3,200 per uh, leg. That's pretty expensive. You can see um, the probability of profit is a little bit uh, higher than a coin flip. Um, and the delta is extremely high with the theta being extremely bad because again, you're buying two calls, uh, especially one, the one that's being in the money is going to be a little bit less theta, but you're buying a put that's near and near to being in the money or at the money, uh, that's going to really going to kick up the theta decay. You see that the max profit is infinite because again, once we go to the curve tab and analyze this, the un the potential upside is limitless and the downside potential is capped because the stock can only go to zero. Um, so basically, how does this make money? Okay, you're risking $25 million basically and looking for this really large play to play out. They're initially probably looking for anywhere from 25 to 30% uh, on their money on this trade, most likely on these particular straddles. Um, and looking for a, a large exponential move within the next 60 days on BA. Um, sometimes if you don't get a move within the first 15, 20 days, that theta is gonna start kicking in very heavily around the 45 day period. Uh, and they might, they could roll this to another month or just close the trade completely. So basically what the bet is, is the bet is really looking to see it break out above 280 or it's gonna break lower to below 217. So really kind of playing these metrics of like, okay, we got theta coming in, we're paying a lot of premium for this particular play here. Um, really looking here, once we jump to the chart, we can kind of look at these key levels that they're looking for around, again, around the two, uh, 282 uh, and then around 217 to the downside. So if we get a large break to either side, you can kind of see the skew here. So let's say, 
by expiration uh, that this is going to be the stock's going to be back to around its high around 360. Uh, this particular call could make uh, nearly they're going to potentially could double their money uh, with 100 uh, percent with basically 60 million dollars in, uh, in potential uh, returns on that. So it's going to be a nice little move there. So let's go ahead and jump into the charts here via uh, think or swim here. So once we go look here, we look at Ali blah blah. So again, that key level. Look at this. It's at the 21 EMA currently, which is that straddle. So we can draw uh, just a little quick little line here to kind of reference these things. So actually, let's do let's do this here. We're gonna I like drawing ovals like this. This is potentially profit zone higher there, and then we can draw. It was around 218, so that's gonna be substantially to the downside here. So it's way to bar her. I'm just gonna draw the bubble here. Mm -hmm. Let's draw it like this. And this is the potential downside move here. So you can see where the stock has to potentially move or break. Of course, uh, Ali Blah Blah is just up a hair today, about $2. So again, it's going to be paying a little bit more for those calls to uh, on the 250 calls going out. But again, if the call prices are going up, the uh, the put options are going to be shrinking. So depending on how it plays out, um, it's very much a timing play because if the timing is not right on these options, Ali Blah Blah can just trade sideways here uh, for this foreseeable future. And your options are just going to be getting slaughtered and that IV crush with that theta decays is going to just tear it away and you're just going to be losing quite a bit of money uh, day in and day out. Again, overall play, you're expecting a very large move to the upside or downside. Again, with this large move with Ali Blah Blah with the Ant IPO failure, whatever reason, it just hasn't really kind of gained its momentum to the upside. Potentially, we're kind of looking for some support here around the 144 uh, EMA on the daily side. We've seen this pattern before where it has kind of like just fallen out of favor and has come down to the 144 or 200 EMA, but then kind of has rallied back in the short term. So I think this is really what the options traders uh, or investors are looking for is just like a very quick spike up and they can potentially uh, unload those options because again, Ali Blah Blah has a lot of liquidity in there, so they're going to be able to potentially get a nice premium for those options. But again, the overall bet is it has to move aggressively upwards or downwards. So uh, it's definitely going to be something going to be very interesting to see uh, on how it plays out. Will I be putting on this trade? Perhaps. Uh, I usually like these kind of uh, um, straddle kind of plays. Uh, the timing, again, is key and the prices so forth. So we're looking again for a pivot potentially um, in Ali Blah Blah for the upsort or downsort sides. Uh, if we get a look at, look slightly on the weekly side, we're kind of coming down exactly to the 34 EMA. So if we can hold this pattern, so around the 254 uh, price target, um, again, this can just hold here and do nothing. And again, those options will deteriorate to do nothing um, and really just kind of eat away uh, <laughs> your money and just literally burn it. Um, but Ali Blah Blah definitely has large moves up or down. So I really think that uh, uh, people are expecting a move again. Timing, timing, timing. It's like real estate. They always say location, location, location. With options, especially this play is timing, timing, timing. Um, and it can, when the Greeks kick in, especially that theta decay, this could be a very ugly uh, move uh, to the downside on your cash if, if Ali Blah Blah doesn't get the momentum move that these investors are particularly looking for. So that being said, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out and watching this video. Again, if you have any more questions, please put it in the comments down below. I hope to see you on the next live stream probably going to be doing sometime one this week. Uh, go ahead and head over to the Discord as well. We have a free Discord. We always talk about stocks, uh, share charts, all kinds of different various things. Talk about Costco stuff and everything. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.